Hi, this is Mio here. Today we are going to talk about how to create a new project and add project details in Epidata Manager. So let's get started. You can use drop down menu or you can use what process toolbar. So let's use what process toolbar and choose new project. Okay, now the blank screen is divided into two parts. On the left side, we've got project tree. Uh, since we have a name this project, so it is called and title project. And we got one data set, data store one. And on the right side, we've got project details. Okay, so there are seven tabs which you can uh, navigate and do different information. So the first tab is about welcome. These essentially the instructions uh, to use Epidata and create uh, data forms. So you can read it or close the page. And the second tab is about title and abstract. So this is based on a scientific scientific research project. So basically it has a title and there are some abstracts, um, background, rationality, objectives, uh, research questions, methodology, etc. Okay, so it's a nice way to add more details uh, into these projects. And then the second tab, uh, we can talk about the coverage, geographic coverage, the language, which is not anywhere here. Uh, and then we, we got a time coverage. And what is the population or what is the unit observation? So these are nice information that uh, uh, you can add to the project. And more information can be added on the description. So you can add keywords, uh, purpose, citations, design, essentially methodology, and you can talk about ownership, uh, what is your organization, what is the um, uh, agency, author, contributors, rights, uh, very different aspects of um, uh, information, piece of information. Uh, that are also very important at some time, at some point. And you can add inf funding uh, information. And the last one is uh, more important that you can add the study ID and also you can add your own Epidata uh, database version. Okay, so as soon as you create a new project, they will start with one. Uh, you, can, you can add more uh, version details. There are different. Uh, version system that you can use here so it's a nice way to add uh, to the project details okay so as we discussed uh, in our previous video as soon as you open a project uh, the project details and data set uh, patterns uh, appear so you can use uh, you can make use of it okay and in the status bar so this the button white uh, big line is called the status bar okay so uh, the first information is about last save so right now we haven't saved it yet so it is counting this is the elapsed time so it's counting and counting and when you save it then it will start from zero and then since we are selecting the project and adding the project information, it show the main, uh, the main text here. It this indicate that that we are currently selecting the main canvas, which we will talk about in uh, in next video. And currently, we do not have any records here. Okay, so this is how you create a new project. So you can add different piece of uh, important information to the project so that you can remember later so this is uh, this is really nice if you are collaborating with uh, several agencies and organizations across the globe this makes really um, manageable piece of information okay so uh, that's it for today uh, Next video, we will talk about how to, uh, we will look at the data forms and how to add uh, variables and how to control the checks uh, in next video.